Dear friends, journeying through this advent, many of us will be making a very personal search, silently pondering as to how to make this advent something very personal. Late President APJ Abdul Kalam says, past is a waste paper, present is a newspaper, future is a question paper. So, read and write carefully, otherwise you can be a tissue paper. Words speaking in volume. Here he is inviting us to take a deeper holistic look at the person who I am. Which aspects in me needs a change? If we are attentive to our searches, we see pop-ups of various aspects of about ourselves. Aspects those blur our focus in life, aspects we deeply wish to get rid of, aspects those disturb our daily peace. Aspects that are a threat to our life, yet we go on with all this. Jesus as a practice embraced prayer as his way to the mission and life. Therefore, he went away from the crowds very often to a mountain top and spent quiet times with his father in prayer. At times, an introspective journey to the self can bring a change in our entire dynamics. It can set new directions. The only path that we travel all by ourselves is the journey to the self, without fear, without being noticed or judged. This is where we can lay a foundation to a new beginning. A suppression of ourselves from the things that ruin our image and our identity as sons and daughters of God. And this is the longest journey one can ever make and the only journey we will never be able to complete. So vast, so incomprehensible. Introspection, friends, is the only road to self-discovery. In fact, the most adventurous place to embark on is within my own self. It is entering our treasure house to encounter our passions, directions, accumulations, driving forces, networking, lifestyle, and value systems. The chaos, the disorders, and the mess. The most valuable and the unique portrait you can ever discover in the universe is by facing yourself in all its truth in your aloneness. When APJ Abdul Kalam said, past is a waste paper, present is a newspaper, future is a question paper, so read and write carefully, otherwise you can be a tissue paper, he is encouraging the readers to be knowledgeable, to be discerning, to be selective of our ways, and to be wise when it comes to the matters of one's own life. In other words, if our focus is blurred with the filth of our daily choices and not able to separate the essentials from the non-essentials, our life can be equal to a tissue paper, which people will use and throw. Friendship, shopping, travels, adventures bring flexibility to life, strength to friendship, but Along with every travel, with every conduct, are we also bringing home unhealthy practices, encounters, and avoidance tendencies is the big question. Gradually, leaving the home to itself, we make it travels as our way of life and replace family life with the socializations and outing. Thereby, family bondings become secondary or rather cease to exist. Likewise, we all carry along and journey along with many destructible elements and emotions that are capable of blasting on each other. And therefore, what do you want during this Advent is a very personal question. The good news is, 
Jesus is coming with newness. What needs to be changed in my life so that I can identify myself with Jesus a bit more? Which values of him I need to adopt so that I can take up the footsteps of Jesus?